Hello everyone, thanks for joining me. In this video, we are going to start with our next practical that will be Azure Data Factory practical number 7. We have already covered 1 to 6 practical 1 to 6 in our Azure Data Engineering playlist. If you haven't seen, please go to my channel and go to the playlist of the Azure Data Engineering. There we are covering from basic to advanced level and we are covering based on the practical. So please do subscribe my channel okay so let us start with our practical in this practical we have one of the business use case so we have the data coming into azure blob storage account from my external resources what actually we want to do we want to perform some kind of the transformation where first we will see like in our excel or in our data all the columns are not important okay so we wanted to select only the specific column from there so for that actually we will use a select transformation after that we want to do a sorting based on the user id because the data no, is not in a proper order and after that we want to perform a aggregation based on the salary okay and finally we want to load into a target location so here actually we are going to see the select transformation sorting transformation and aggregation transformation how we can use them azure data factory okay so this is the practical which we are going to do okay so let me open my azure data factory account so this is my uh, so this is my azure data factory here only we are going to create a pipeline before that uh, let me show you the blob storage account so this is my blob storage account where we have a two container one is a raw there actually we have a data available employee4.xls let me show you this data let me try to download let me try to open so this is the data which we have okay we have a user id we have a name salary location date attendance loc pid and department so what actually we want to do you can see in loc pid and department we don't have much data available so this is the irrelevant data because this is not gonna help for the any kind of the analysis because so many missing values are there okay so we will select only this column from this uh, particular excel from the particular source and after that we will perform a sorting transformation you can see this uh, the user id is also not in a proper order so after that we will sort based on the user and after that we will perform a salary we, where we will do a aggregation based on the salary and the base on the location so that is the that we are actually go, gonna do in a azure data factory practical okay so let us create a azure data factory pipeline so once you will open a data factory studio it will look like this go to the author section go to the data flow click on the new data flow let's try to select our source so for source first we will create a data set click on the data set our source is available into a blob storage click on that this is the excel file so let's select excel let's try to make a connection let's try to make a connection click on new select your azure subscription okay once you will select azure subscription click on the storage account and after that just click on the create button okay once you will do that you have to give the source path okay now go to the source path it is available into a raw select the file okay after that uh, we have to give the seat name on which particular seat the data is available it is available into seat one and first row as a header okay so our source will now be ready click on the okay if you want to preview the data you can preview it we have to click on this uh, data flow debug option once you will click on the ok ok you in the data preview option here actually you can see your data as of now you can see we have a nine columns available ok as we have already seen uh, in our data but uh, we will only filter only the specific column so let us see how actually our data looks like so it is fetching the data in a data preview if you will go you can see your source whatever the data is there okay so actually it is fetching the data now so let us wait it to be refreshed so there actually you will get to see 
let's wait and after that we will perform other transformation if you will click on this plus button you will see different uh, different transformations uh, which we can perform so that actually we are gon gonna see okay so what actually we will do we will do a select and we will do a aggregation so first let us see how actually our data looks like so we have a username salary location date and attendance but you can see loc pid and department here actually we don't have much data most of the data are null it's coming as a null so we will try to uh, exclude this uh, data okay so how actually we can do so for that we will use a select click on this select transformation okay output stream is a source uh, output stream name is select incoming is source one now let us see you can see here all the columns are there right but we don't want this loc pid and department because most of the them are null so i will click on this delete delete and the delete so you can see we have only the six column if you go to the data preview you will get to see okay uh, your data now you can see we don't have uh, the other PID and all we have removed that and here only we have most of the data now what actually we are going to do this user is not in a proper order ordering 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 okay so we will try to sort based on the user so for that we can use a sorting we will go to the sort so once you will click on this sorting option okay after that we have option of this uh, uh, this incoming stream name output stream name and after that we have a sort condition so here actually we want to sort based on the name so let's sort based on the name okay let me select the name okay select the name based on the ascending okay let's remove let's see the data how actually it looks like once you will click on the refresh you will get to see all the name column will get sorted you can see uh, okay uh, you can see uh, we have 10 okay you can see first is the k and then it's coming m m are uh, so actually it got based on the ascending order only name got sorted okay so that's how actually you can perform sorting even if you want to do other sorting based on the other column that also you can do okay but i just wanted to show you how actually sorting you can use it okay after doing a sorting we want to perform a aggregation so let's see how actually we can use the aggregation just click on this aggregation so on what basis actually you want to uh, group by so i want to group by based on the location based on the location wise actually i wanted to group based on the location i wanted to group so that's why i have selected a group by now aggregation so what is the aggregation you want to perform so that is the thing actually we have to mention here okay so uh, my column will be the salary and the expression will be the sum of the salary okay so uh, or sum of salary so it is showing like we should first convert this as a number type okay so how actually the data is coming so let's go to the source first go to the source in a in a optimize or in a projection if you will go you will get to see salaries coming as a string just convert into an integer okay once you will get converted go to the aggregated now this will not give you any error okay now our salary aggregation is fine now what actually we want to do so it is grouping based on the salary and the location but let's include another also another column let's include uh, other column as a or uh, let's include other column like user or something let me search user if we have 
based on the user okay so in our data we will be have a user location and based on the sum of the salary let's see how actually our data looks like you can see we have some kind of the error let's try to see whether what is the error column requires an expression it is showing a like column requires an expression i think somewhere we have missed the expression you can see here we have to remove this now go to the data preview let's try to replace so usually we will be having a user location and based on their sum of the salary you can see location and for this location i think uh, we don't have any salary but here actually for the six user actually it actually uh, has done the sum of the salary operation and similarly for the india for the nine user it has done the sum of the salary for india also for the seven user it has done the sum of the salary so that is how actually we can do it okay even if you want to convert this uh, null into a zero that also you can do so before the aggregation let's try to create uh, one more thing so how actually we can do it we can use a derive column in a derive column just select the salary okay and here you can write a expression is null salary if it is a null salary so you will convert into a zero otherwise salary okay so this is how actually we want to use Uh, it will be a uh, this it will be a bracket and it will be a zero and then salary I think I have mentioned zero here so this is the condition which I am giving if any null value will be there it will convert into a zero otherwise salary okay now if we we'll go to the aggregation now if we will repress the all the null should convert into a zero okay let's try to see whether it got converted or not now you can see zero also got converted all the null got converted into zero also and based on the six seven eight nine it is actually grouping and it is summing up the salary now finally we want to load into our target location so for that select the sync okay once you will select the sync create a new data set Azure Blob Storage. We want to uh, save as a text format. Uh, we want to create a new Blob Storage. Select the subscription. Select the storage name. Click on the create. Once you will do that, just select the target location. Click on the OK. First row as a header. That's so that you will get a column. Click on the OK. And after that, uh, go to the uh, go to the your sync, and we want to save into a single partition. Okay. So in parties in optimization, you can select that. After that, go to the pipeline. Let's create a new pipeline here. Once you will do that, just drag your data flow. Click on the publish all. Once you will click that, it is publishing now. Once it will publish, we will uh, trigger it and we will try to run the pipeline. Publish is now completed. Click on the add trigger and trigger now. Once you will trigger it, the pipeline will start running. If you want to monitor, go to the monitor window. You can see your pipeline is running, and uh, that actually we can monitor from the notification also. Once it will complete, our data should be stored into uh, our output location, our target location. Now, if you will see and if you will observe, our pipeline is now succeeded. Okay, pipeline is completed successfully. Here, actually, we had to refresh, then only it will show the status has succeeded. Let's go to the our uh, blob storage account and let's try to see in a target whether it got saved or not. So this is the file which we have got. Let's try to download and see. Download. It should be the aggregation one. 
so this is the final output which we have got based on the location the sum of the salary which we are getting it okay so yeah.